Hi guys! So today is going to be monthly favorites. It's already almost May. Today is the 29th as I'm filming this. It'll be going up tomorrow though on the 30th. And I am just amazed this year has gone by so fast. Uh, I just don't have that much to talk about this time. Uh, most of the things I have in here I just didn't want to repeat myself from last month's favorites. And a lot of my favorite things have been the same things. So I found some things that were different from last month that I've been loving and I'm going to go ahead and talk about them for you. So the very first thing I have is my Milani Multitasker Face Powder. There we go. You should be able to see it there. And mine is in the shade 01 Light. This guy is a really nice setting powder. It's l like a satin finish on the skin. It's not overly mattifying, which is nice for me because I am a little bit dry, especially through my cheeks. But I like a matte finish to my skin. So it's nice to use something more of a satin finish because my natural dryness just means everything looks extra dry on my skin. But I would need mattifying for like my nose and it works really well there as well. It does have a little bit of coverage to it too, which is really nice. I don't really wear foundation anymore. I actually just usually throw on some concealer and a powder. So this is nice because that little bit of coverage helps where my redness shows through especially. The other face thing I have and this will come to no as no surprise to anybody who has heard, already heard me talk about them in my review, are my ColourPop blushes. These are from the Spring Collection. I have Olive and Rain to talk about today. I haven't worn More Please very much, so I'm not going to really talk about that guy too much. But Rain is this amazing purple. Until I set it off the side so I'd stop using it, I was using this one almost every day. You can see I even got a decent little divot in it, just because I love wearing this one so much. It's a beautiful purple, cool toned purple blush. It does not look pink on the skin. It looks purple. It's amazing. And then I also have Olive, which is an amazing neutral light pink. Um, at least in my lighting it's looking a little brighter, but it's really a soft pink on the skin. It's very, very neutral and it is a lovely uh, matte finish on the skin as well. Uh, but because it's a cream, it's not like a chalky matte either. It blends right in and I absolutely love these. I've, I had to actually literally set them aside away from my main table or because I wasn't using anything except for those two blushes really. Uh, the next thing I have, I have two eye things to talk about for you guys today. The first one is my Milani eyeshadow primer. I had thought I had thrown this out or had gone bad, but it hasn't and I found it sitting in my drawer and I think I set it aside so I'd use my other eye primers. But I love this. This is my absolute favorite eye primer. Um, it goes on clear. It, it's like a skin tone kind of color when you squeeze it out, like a baby skin tone -y color, but it's pretty much clear. I think any skin tone could use this. It's actually darker than my natural skin tone anyway. You can kind of see it there. But this helps my eyeshadow last all day. Everything goes on nice and pigmented on top of it. Admittedly, I do always use my eyeshadow base, especially that Milani Shadow Eyes pencil, but I have gone without a pencil or a base underneath and I still, this is amazing for lasting power. And I'm quite happy to realize I still have that heading into the warmer months when I'm more prone to stuff creasing and going crazy. My other eye favorite is this palette. This is the Coastal Scents Revealed 2. I've only used this a couple times this month, but the things I've done with it I've been so thrilled with that I'm calling it a favorite anyway. So the other day in my last video, actually my empties video, I wore this palette and I believe I used like this shade on the lid. This one on the outer third of the lid, it's a purpley toned thing. Um, I blended everything with the two matte kind of purpley toned, plummy toned things. And then I put this like mulberry shade in my crease and I'm obsessed with that look. look. I was just so happy how bright my eyes looked too. And then I'm just a little bit obsessed with this mulberry shade, it's so pretty. And I'm just a little in love with this palette right now. Uh, this guy is so cheap too, it's a dupe for the Naked 3 palette, but with more colors. So. It's cheaper, it's just, it's quality is just as good as most of my Urban Decay shadows, and it has more shades than the Urban Decay dupe. So I am loving this palette. I really want to check out the Revealed 3 that they've come out with, just because it has all those purples in there, and I love purple eyeshadow. Uh, and then I have two lip things, a body thing, and a couple of random favorites. So my lip things are my Lush Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. This one is my favorite of the ones they have all year round. Um, it's very minty, it's like a peppermint pit patty kind of taste, but I love the fact that the peppermint oil is a natural breath freshener because I'm, I'm a mint fan. I always have mint sitting at my table and in my bag. And then I also love that peppermint oil is a natural lip plumper, so it makes all the lipsticks I put on top of it just look a little nicer because my lips are nice and plump. So 
loving my mint julep lip scrub. I know last month I talked about the Kiss lip scrub, which is still a favorite as well, but I thought I'd give this guy a little bit of a spotlight because I've been using it quite a bit. And then I also have a lipstick that I am loving. I even have a swatch of it for you guys. Let me touch that swatch up. This is Lady Flower from Urban Decay. Normally you can't get this, this shade in the original uh, like Revolution lipstick formula. You can only get it in the sheer formula, but I got it in this set that I got at Christmas time, the full frontal lipstick stash. And here is a swatch of the color for you. It's this amazing mauve toned pink. Um, it's similar to my natural lip color, but it's a little darker and just a little richer. And I absolutely love it. I'm also in love with the adorable packaging. These guys have a gram of product in them too, so it's the same as a ColourPop lipstick I've since realized. So I'm, part of me is wondering how long these guys would last, but I love this. If they ever made it permanent, I would totally go out and buy it, because I love it that much. And then finally, my body product, and then my two random favorites. Um, this body product is a limited edition body conditioner from Lush, and this is the Yummy Mummy. This is a strawberry and tonka scent, mostly. That's all I really smell in there is fresh strawberry, tonka. It's super, super moisturizing because it is a body conditioner, so like in shower lotion. I also really like the shower gel that's in the same scent as this, but I've actually found pairing this with the Prince Charming shower gel is a great scent combination on my skin as well. So if, you, so if you got the Prince Charming shower gel at Valentine's Day, try it with the Yummy Mummy body conditioner because that smell combination is amazing. It makes it smell almost more like fresh strawberries because the citrus notes in Prince Charming bring out like that fresh strawberry scent from the Yummy Mummy. And I absolutely love it and it is a very thick, creamy consistency. I've already spilled it once so I'm going to not tilt that over too much, but I love this stuff and um, it's limited edition so I have to be careful not to burn through it too quickly. And then finally my two random favorites. The first one is like a couple of videos I've been watching a lot lately, which are Project Pan and Use It Up Project videos. Uh, I know Heather from Love Heatherette has been doing like a Project 50 pan I think, and then some other used up like 4 by 4th of July videos, and that's been tons of fun to watch because I've been cleaning out my makeup collection quite a bit lately, so it's really cool to see other people cleaning stuff out, and it's made me want to use stuff up. And then also from what following links in her description box, I also have begun watching Cherish from Pretty Pistol 86, and she goes through so many products so fast. It is amazing. Um, so I actually have been super inspired by that and will be doing my own little use it up project very soon as well. So I've been loving watching those videos. And then also I have a song that I've been a little obsessed with this month as well. And that is Picture Perfect by Escape the Fate. It, it, I forgot about that song that I was listening to a playlist I made months and months ago and I heard it and I can't get it out of my head. It's actually going to be the cover I do this week on my music channel, which is always linked down below. So that'll actually be going up, oh, that'll actually be up yesterday, which is today, as I'm filming this. So those are my favorites for the month of April, and I hope you guys liked it. Tell me what your favorites were in the comments, or link to your video if you've done a uh, favorites video this month. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys!